Welcome to Time News. Today we will be discussing the latest developments in the longevity industry over the past week. In this episode, we will have a total of ten news pieces to share with you. First, let's get started with substances. In aging cell, researchers found that vitamin D3 inhibits the senescence-associated secretory phenotype in fibroblasts by partially blocking the P38MAPK pathway. This suggests a potential mechanism of enhancing immunity and inhibiting SASP production during aging. The study in Nature Communications found that elevated type 1 interferon response in old mice retina correlates with increased mtDNA and CGAT stain pathway activation. Urolithin A induced mitophagy in old mice improves neurological function, hinting at a strategy to combat age-related inflammation, which is done by Spanish scientists in European Journal of Pharmacology. A study explores how quercetin protects granulosa cells from H2O2 induced aging and injury in vitro by activating autophagy. Quercetin enhances cell viability and function by upregulating mitophagy markers, while inhibition of autophagy abolishes protective effects like delay in aging, which is done by Harbin Medical University. On heart aging. The study demonstrated that lowering POP2 level alleviated doxorubicin-induced cardiomyocyte aging, while its overexpression exacerbated this process. POP2 inhibits sirtuin-1 expression, contributing to doxorubicin-induced cardiomyocyte aging and injury, which is published in Apoptosis and Done by Chinese scientists. The next piece is Parkinson-related. The study investigated how aging and gliosinescence impact the clearance of alpha synuclein in Parkinson's disease. Age mice show increased accumulation of human alpha syn pathology, with aged microglia inhibiting higher level of human alpha syn. The study is in cell death discovery from Osaka University. How about metabolism and aging? U.S. scientists found that. Metabolic scores in early adulthood were strongly linked to aging outcomes over three decades, including cardiovascular disease and mortality. These findings underscore the crucial role of metabolism in long-term health and aging trajectories, which is in the aging cell. In the International Journal of Obesity, researchers from Finland find that individuals with metabolic syndrome exhibit higher epigenetic age acceleration, independent of lifestyle factors like physical activity and smoking. However, genetic factors appear to partly explain this association, and this is a twin study as well. On bone aging, the study found that. Aging macrophages in calluses secretes granulocin, triggering secondary senescence in skeleton cell and progenitor cells, and impairing fractal healing. Blocking GCA shows promise as a therapy for age-related delays in fractal healing, which is done by Xiangya Hospital of Central Health University, China, and published in Bone Research. When it comes to ovarian aging, Spanish researchers observe altered myometrial cell-to-cell communication as an aging hallmark, which is associated with the loss of 25 signaling pathways. Including those related to angiogenesis, tissue repair, contractility, immunity, and nervous system regulation, which is in Nature Communications. And finally, in the FASEB journal, a study explored the circulating essence RNA profile in older individuals, focusing on sarcopenia and insulin resistance. Results revealed associations with age, sarcopenia, and insulin resistance with specific essence RNAs. Highlighting potential biomarkers for age-related conditions and therapeutic targets, which is done by the University of Southampton. And that is all. Thank you for joining us on this week's Time News. We hope you found these updates informative and inspiring. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. We will see you in next week's broadcast. Wishing you a happy and long life.